but we're sooner, everybody. My name's Harry James. First of all, because of the hat, I want to say thank you to the uh, military people for everything that you do on this uh, Memorial Day weekend. Speaking of the United States and uh, the blue collarness and rough and tough that the USA is, that's exactly what you get when you face Kansas State. Gritty, tough. Their head coach, Coach Kleiman, really, really good. Not Coach Klein from Waterboy, people. Coach Klein, Kleiman, really knows what he's doing. We'll preview Kansas State and the Wildcats. Emu next. <laughs> Preview is for the Kansas State Wildcats. Uh, four and six last year. Big 12 played four and five. They were seventh in the Big 12 Conference, people. Not bad. Uh, no bowl win, but they did play our beloved Sooners. That was probably their best win of their four last year. Got us 38-35 in Norman. The Wildcats play their home games at Bill Snyder Family Memorial Stadium out in Manhattan, Kansas. And uh, uh, and Chris Kleiman is their coach. His third year, kids, third year in the Little Apple. Before Kansas State, he had uh, two other stints. Uh, he was at a Division III school called La Ross back in 2005, coached the Dehawks. That year, a couple of years later, made the move up to uh, Division One uh, or FCS, if you will, where he was at North Dakota State from 2014 to 2018. In that five-year gap, guys, twice, two times, back to back, F. C.S. National Champs. And 2016, the gap year in there, they made it all the way to the semifinals of the F.C.S., their division of college football in the playoffs. That tells you how good this guy is, right? And by the way, the year that he left, 2019, guess what? They went back again and won the FCS title at North Dakota State. But that year, 2019, he took over for the Snide Man, Bill Snyder, the Sly Snide, and has been at Kansas State, has Coach Kleiman, since 2019. Passing leader, trying to get to, trying to get off the uh, snide uh, of uh, and, and up to the upper echelon of the Big 12. Going to make it a little easier when you get a true freshman, I guess now a redshirt freshman, Will Howard, to play the way that he did. Uh, Will Howard last year, number 15 Will Howard, by the way, 1,178 yards in the air, 8 touchdowns, 10 picks. His longest completion, 70 yards. Uh, the rushing, leading rushers for the Wildcats. Sooner fans will remember this name. 
The deuce is loose. Deuce Vaughn, the double deuce. He's back for a retro freshman year after his true freshman year last year because of the COVID. You, of course, get to redo the year. Uh, so, in basically in his pre-college debut, 123 carries, 642 yards on the ground, seven touchdowns. Longest run, 38 yards out. And the leading rusher, the helping him lead the team in rushing, was actually Will Howard, uh, the second string quarterback. 78 total ta uh, uh, rushes last year to go for 364 yards on the ground, three touchdowns, including an 80 yard jolt. That's right, 80 yards. Wide receivers, uh, receivers out there, uh, well, they don't really play with wide receivers as much as the next guy, but they do play with a running back and a tight end from the receiving core. The running back, of course, Deuce Vaughn. The juice, Deuce, is loose. Deuce can also get out there and catch the ball. Did it 25 times last year, 434 yards in the air. To go with nine touches. His longest reception, 77 yards. Briley Moore does it as a tight end. Uh, Moore, number zero, Briley Moore, 22 catches, 338 yards in the air, three touchdowns. Longest reception, 66 yards last year from his tight end spot. So that's who returns on offense. But you know what, guys? Winning as much from 2014 to 2018 and into 2019, as much as Coach Kleiman did, got to play defense. You got to play some defense. And they did play some defense. Two defenders that are coming into Kansas State this year. Uh, Jawan McPherson, he played last year for the Wildcats. And uh, Rust Yeast. Yeast played for Louisville. Louisville last year uh, in 2020. This year we'll play for the Wildcats in the free transfer year. Start with the guy that actually knows what it's like to play for Coach Kleiman <coughs> and the defense. 31, Jawan McPherson, 54 total tackles last year, forced fumble, zero fumbles recovered, and two picks from his linebacker core. So there's that. Helping him will be Rust Yeast. He wears the deuce, the single deuce, not the double deuce, the single deuce, number two for the Wildcats. Last year, while at Louisville in 2020, had 45 total tackles, a forced fumble, two recovered fumbles, but, however, did not have an interception. So that's offense and defense. Got to have some special teams. You got to play all three sides of the ball, baby. Kansas State will play all three sides of the ball, including punting with either Ty Zetner or Jake uh, Bloomer. Bloomer. We'll start with uh, Ty Zetner. He had more punts last year. He had 28 punts last year to go with a 40.8% uh, average on punts, zero touchbacks, 14 of these things landed inside the 20-yard line and a long of 65 yards. Also, 43, Jake Bloomer. The Bloom bloomed it, bloomed it, and boomed it 24 times last year to average 30.4 on average, including a touchback. Three of these things landed inside the 20-yard line, but did have a long punt, 54 yards. But you know what? If you're going to beat Oklahoma you got to put points on the board. And punts just won't do it. You know what will put points on the board? Field goals. Like field goals from number 10, Blake Lynch. Lynch, 20, or 12 for 17 last year. That's a 70.6% accuracy. His longest kick last year, 53 yards. All right, guys. That'll do it for the preview. Now, uh, about maybe an hour ago, Jay 
MU just now made it to the Women's College World Series to place our beloved Oklahoma Sooners at 11 a.m. on Wednesday, or Thursday, I should say, Thursday. Uh, but, you're more into football, maybe? Or, maybe you need something to entertain you until the first pitch of the Women's College World Series. We got you! Hold on, let me find it. Let me find it. Uh, it's right here. At least I had it. That's not it. There it is. The Inside OU Podcast. Brady Trantham, Keegan Renault. Great job here. Great job by the guys here. Also, this one. It's their uh, Patreon uh, page. Just uh, look through in or through the keyhole. You'll see a uh, big name Bob. Remember his face from when uh, the field goal was just going through against Kansas, against Florida State with Jimmy Stevens that year? Well, you'll see that face again. And when you see it, you'll know that's through the keyhole. That also is Brady Trantham and Keegan Renault. This one right here, the uh, through the keyhole one, the Patreon one, is a paid podcast. It's four dollars if you just want the podcast. An extra dollar will get you a film uh, film reviews from Keegan. So he'll go through the the all twenty two where you get to see everything, and uh, he'll do that for you, walk you through it. In fact, he just walked us through uh, Iowa State. And what needs to happen there. And possibly some alignments that need to be taken place for that. Also, with that being said, the $4 subscription. Not only do you get podcasts, guys. You get tons of podcasts. Plus, you, me, everybody, anybody that wants on the podcast can join Brady, the OU superfan. Just hit him up at Brady Does Sports. And uh, hook them up there, le uh, hit them up there if you're interested, because they're doing fan or and or player interviews. Really, really cool idea to kind of keep you entertained until football season. Matt Burton, fellow franchiser, if you know Brady's work on the franchise, former uh, current franchiser Brady. Trantham interviews another current OU fan and franchiser in Matt Burton. All right, guys, that will wrap this thing in a bow and do it. Tie it up. Uh, excuse Oklahoma State's about to ha do their first pitch. How cool is that going to be? You're going to be OU, see OU and OSU both in the women's. College World Series. <laughs> That's the cool part. The not so cool part. Both games will be while most of the rest of Oklahoma, except for the people at the stadium, more than likely will be at work at the 11 a.m. and about 2.30 to 3 o'clock p.m. first pitches. Wah, wah. Not so fun. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Harry James. Plus, not only that, guys, but how cool would it be? It's kind of disappointing that, too, if you're the softball geek like I am. Because how cool would it be to have Bedlam or OU Texas, one of the two, in a Women's College World Series final? Won't happen will not happen. The best that that can happen is a week from today in Oklahoma City in semi-final round. All right, guys, that'll do it. That'll wrap this thing up. My name's Harry James. You can catch this in all my other videos. YouTube, Boomer Sooner 1982. Also, uh, YouTube, 
that's that is my YouTube. At Hype Man Harry's the Twitter. Harry James Taylor on the Facebook. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Boomer sooner, everybody. I'm out of here. Peace.